मित्रांनो परीक्षेमध्ये जास्तीत जास्त गुण मिळवण्यासाठी सततचा सराव खूपच महत्वाचा असतो आम्ही बनविलेले व्हिडिओज जर आपण पुन्हा पुन्हा पाहिले व शेवटपर्यंत पाहिले तर नक्कीच त्याचा खूप फायदा होईल आपण टॉप स्कोरर बनाल कारण प्रॅक्टिस मेक्स मॅन परफेक्ट मित्रांनो आम्ही आपल्यासाठी चांगल्यात चांगले व्हिडिओज बनवत आहोत जर तुम्ही आमचा चॅनल सबस्क्राईब कराल आमचे व्हिडिओज इतरांना शेअर कराल व्हिडिओजवर लाईक व कमेंट कराल तर आम्ही तुमच्यासाठी जास्तीत जास्त व्हिडिओज घेऊन येऊ आमचा माय बेस्ट गुरु चॅनल सबस्क्राईब बटनवर क्लिक करून सबस्क्राईब करा हॅलो स्टुडंट्स नाव लर्न द क्वेश्चन आन्सर्स ऑफ लेसन नंबर फोर द इंडियन ज्युडिशियल सिस्टम क्वेश्चन नंबर वन चूज द करेक्ट ऑप्शन अँड कम्प्लीट द स्टेटमेंट वन लॉज आर मेड बाय डॅश options are legislature council of ministers judiciary executive legislature laws are made by legislature two the chief justice of supreme court is appointed by dash dash options are prime minister president home minister chief justice president the chief justice of supreme court is appointed by president question number 2 explain the concepts 1 judicial review answer 1 constitution is the fundamental law of the nation the most important responsibilities interested to the supreme court is the protection of the constitution two the parliament cannot pass any law which violates the constitution whatever act or policy made by the executive must be consistent with the constitution three if any law passed by the legislature or any act of the executive violates any provision of the constitution the said law or act is declared illegal and struck down by the court this power of the court is called as judicial review two public interest litigation answer one public interest litigations have played an important role in judicial activism two public interest litigation pil refers to litigations filled on problems of public importance by individual citizens social organizations or non governmental organization on behalf of the all people three the court thinks all over the questions raised and declare its decisions now question number 3 write short notes on 1 civil and criminal law answer there are two important branches of law in india one is civil law and second is criminal law now civil law 1 civil law deals with the situations that harms or interfere with the rights of a person to it handles the situations like conflicts regarding land and property rent agreement divorce etc 3 after filing a petition in the relevant court then the court gives a decision now criminal law 1 in criminal law serious crimes are dealt such as theft robbery dowry murder etc in such cases very first the fir that is first information report is filed with the police to then police start with its investigation relevant to the matter and then the petition is filed in the court if the charges are proved there are some provisions for severe punishment to judicial activism answer 
one earlier the courts used to settle the disputes whenever they approached for any purpose two the court has gone through certain changes and it has become increasingly active three that the court now seeks to fulfill the constitutional goals of justice and equality four the court has tried to provide legal protection to the marginalized sections in society women tribal workers farmers and children public interest litigations have played a vital role question number 4 answer in brief 1 why are laws necessary in society answer 1 india is very large country there are many different religious people every religion has their different thoughts lifestyle etc to the thoughts of each other may clash and may rise conflicts between social groups and communities three proper guidelines and order should be there for well behavior of, of all citizens four law plays an important role in given giving political and economical shape to a society therefore laws are necessary in society two enumerate the functions of the supreme court answer the functions of supreme court are one being the federal court it has the responsibility to solve the disputes between the center and states and states on one side and the states on the other two it can also give orders to relevant authorities for a protection of the fundamental rights of citizens three to review decrees and orders of lower courts and review its own decisions four in case of president ask for a advice of the court to understand the legal aspects in matter of public importance and provide the necessary advice three which are the provisions that preserve the independence of the judiciary answer the constitution lays down the eligibility criteria for the judges one judges are appointed by the president this helps to avoid any political pressure two judges enjoy security of tenure they cannot be removed from the post for tribal reasons or for political motives three the retirement age of judges of the supreme court is 65 years while for the high court it is 62 years four the salaries of judges are drawn from the consolidated fund of india no discussion takes place in parliament five the parliament cannot discuss the decisions of the judges six contempt of court is considered is a punishable offence in this way the independence of the judiciary is preserved question number 5 complete the table organization of the judiciary system dear students kindly see the organization level of the judiciary system so there are three courts supreme court high court and district court in supreme court there is a chief justice of india in high court there is a chief justice and in district court there is a district judge mitranno ammi aplyasathi changle changle videos banvat ahot jar tumhi amcha channel subscribe karal 
आमचे वीडियोज इतरान शेयर कराल वीडियोज वर लाइक व कमेंट कराल तो आम्मी तुम्हारे जास्तीत जास्त वीडियोज घेन यू आमचा मैबेज गुरु चैनल सब्सक्राइब बटन व क्लिक करून सब्सक्राइब करा